Hearing from a mid-Michigan man who's fighting for custody of his daughter was enough for state lawmakers. The House Judiciary Committee voted Thursday to advance legislation changing the Michigan Paternity Act. This after Daniel Quinn testified in front of them with the story of how he's been separated from his six-year-old daughter by a legal technicality. Shereen Tegarobi reports. She's always leaning into me. She loves her daddy. Today, Daniel Quinn's daughter, May Lee, turns six. I was at the hospital when my daughter was born. I cut the umbilical cord. But Quinn hasn't seen or talked to her in more than three years. She deserves to have her, her dad and her aunts and her uncles and her grandma and grandpa. She deserves to have her family. He lost custody of May Lee when the girl's mother decided to rejoin her husband out of state. Until then, they'd been separated but not divorced. Currently, Michigan law gives unmarried fathers few legal rights when they seek recognition and expanded roles in raising their children. Under Michigan law, a child's legal father is the mother's husband at the time of conception or birth. But that 1956 law was passed before DNA testing. Today, 43% of all babies born in Michigan are born to unmarried women. The number of marriages is declining, but the divorce rate has remained steady over the last decade. Quinn's story inspired legislation that would allow judges to consider the best interest of the child when making paternity decisions. There are more and more families because of today's societal norms um, that are involved with the possibility that a different man may be the father. The House Judiciary Committee voted to move the legislation to the House floor. Meanwhile, May Lee lives in Kentucky with her mother's husband's parents. The husband is now in prison. It's been a very long process, but you don't ever, you don't give up on your children, especially when you know that your child's put in harm's way. In Lansing, Shereen Tagarobi, Fox 47 News. And as Shereen reported, that package of four bills now heads to the House floor. If passed, the bipartisan legislation would help to reconnect children with their rightful parents. Lawmakers hope to take up the bills as early as next week.